You know, there's something weird about this outbreak that looks very different from SARS. They were bringing samples from bats a thousand miles to the northeast, experimenting on them in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We're talking here about a lab that was eight miles from the market where the outbreak was first detected. Is that a coincidence? We became more and more convinced that actually the lab leak is not only possible, but probable. They know what viruses they had in the lab. They won't tell us. Why not? Who are they? What is their role? Who are they complicit with? Who pays their bills? What have we learned about the WHO and has it gotten better or worse since Jan 2020? The World Health Organization is extremely reassuring. We don't think it's spreading human to human. We think China has got this under control. Dr. Tedros goes to Beijing and he says publicly, words cannot express my admiration for what you're doing to control this virus. China was very clear. We put a lot of money into the WHO and we expect the WHO to do what we want. It wasn't possible for people to challenge each other because you've got these very big monolithic funding structures that fund basically the orthodoxy and they don't fund the heterodoxy. You noticed that back in the 90s, there seemed to be some very objective science, but over yeah. the last 10 years, it all seemed to go be kind of a, in a politically correct nature. Nobody really talks about that. You know, this is an unknown. And the science is about the unknown. It's not about the known, you know. Science isn't a catalog of fact. It's a search for new mysteries to solve. We're finding this out not because we want to upset some political apple cart, but because we want to know. A lot of people in this virus debate are saying, we can't find out because of the consequences. We're saying, that's wrong. You must always find out the truth, whatever the consequences.